I can't believe that in almost 2018 that my original OG Xbox is sitting on top of my PS4 in my gaming area here. This is hilarious. Guys, we're going to be taking a look at this 2 terabyte modded Canadian Crystal console. Please stay tuned. Alright, what do you know, what do you do, what do you say my YouTube viewers, Retro Pro Frank in the house with a beautiful, beautiful Canadian Crystal, original OG Xbox, it's a hard modded Xbox, it's got a 2 terabyte drive that I just, I finished up myself, I'm very proud of myself for, for doing this kind of uh, stuff, it's, uh, it's, it's great to be able to, to mod an original Xbox now and just, uh, wow, like instant, instant craziness amounts of games. All right, so the Xbox that we're looking at here is a version 1.6. I don't know if it's an A or B. Could care less. I picked her up in Toronto, okay? She's, um, when I picked her up, the mod chip it came with, which is actually a 2.6, Executor 2.6 CE. Um, it wasn't working properly. Something was corrupted with the BIOS, who knows? So, I actually, I picked it up in Toronto, which is about an hour away from my place. Came with an 80 gig hard drive. There was a couple games on there and stuff. So I upgraded the hard drive and I actually uh, redid the BIOS executor too. She's running like a champ right now. Um, four days, almost like three, about two, three days of sending information. It's just, it's, it's rammed. It's not even halfway full. Okay, guys, it's two terabytes. All right. Now, you know, I'm kind of ripping from disc what I have backing up onto uh, my own collection saved. So I want to save my actual physical, I want to make a backup of my physical discs and everything. So now I have a lot of Xbox games, but I mean, uh, you know, I, I pretty much ripped the best of the best. So right now I got about 150 original Xbox games on this console. Um, like I'm talking coin ops, I'm talking emulation. I'm I, like this thing is just pimped out. You got XBMC on there too, and you know uh, some of the wide wide icons. Um, it's not completely done yet, and I still have some work to do yet. But pretty soon it's going to be done. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this with uh, my subscribers. Uh, you guys might think this is pretty cool. Okay, so first thing you notice with this. Um, modded xbox are the three lights on the bottom here okay the first thing i really noticed when i picked it up were the blue lights here and these three green lights down here so this is actually like a this has everything to do with the mod chip so the first one turns on and shuts off the mod chip okay and now if your hard drive isn't locked it's not going to boot it's you're going to get an error code if it's not locked if you shut it off okay guys so uh, now, I'm not going to explain too much about it. I'm just going to explain about this Xbox, okay? The next one over here is for protected, unprotected, which I assume is uh, to protect the BIOS from reflash by accident or something like that. And the the, uh, the third switch here is actually a BIOS selector because I guess back in the days, they never had any big BIOS or they, you know, they used to put two different BIOS on it. You'd flip it to here and a BIOS is like the logo, like, you know, how you see the Xbox logo when you turn it on. See, with the mod chips, you can change that and do your own custom stuff to that kind of thing, too. So, actually, the mod chip does also, um, it takes away the need for the CD drive. You don't need to have the CD drive, and you can um, change hard drives very easily. Uh, you know, you could put, you could swap different hard drives in. So, let's say I had five 200 uh, gig hard drives, and they all had different games on it. I could swap them uh, with the mod chip. So nowadays, though, we have two terabyte hard drives, and uh, yeah, so actually, I'm going to, uh, let's open her up. Let's take a look at the hard drive inside here, okay? And uh, then afterwards, we're going to um, put on the TV here and show some of the programs and stuff that's loaded on this bad boy, okay? And uh, yeah, hey, guys, you guys remember this one? This bad boy right here? Let's turn it on. Hold on. I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys seen the last video, some of my subscribers maybe, there was an Xbox where I cut the window out. 
This is the same one. I cleared out the uh, top logo jewel to clear now. Uh, did a controller port mod and did a power button eject mod too. You can see when it turns on, everything's all blue. Okay, it looks sick. This is beautiful. You can see the disc uh, spinning. And it's nice and cleared out there, okay? So this, this, this one's pretty much done. So I just wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, let's get back into the computer room and uh, let's take the lid off this guy and let's see what's under the hood. Okay, so we got her open. Okay, you can see that it's a uh, 1.6 clock capacitors there. Okay, it's actually really clean. This is the inside of the bad boy. Okay, there's the mod chip right there. You can see how the wires run to the front panel. It's the black wires along the side there. So I'm just going to shut it off. I don't want to corrupt the BIOS. Okay, and I'm just going to gently, gently, gently rock the chip off. And you can see the 2.6 there. Okay, so this is an Executor 2.6 CE. Okay, and you can see the uh, wireless, sorry, not wireless, solderless header adapter. So those little pins going to the chips and stuff, even that one there, they're like little clamps that go on to it, I guess. So, you you know, you don't have to um, solder them. You can see the actual mod chip again there. Okay, so we can put that back on. Okay, so now down to the bread and butter. We got a Phillips drive here. We got an 80 uh, IDE cable there. Okay, we got our Barracuda 2 terabyte, 2016 August right there. Okay, and over here you can see that there's an adapter. Okay, and I went ahead and I put some, ooh, that just popped right out. I guess that tape didn't work too well. May have to address that after, but there's an adhesive tape holding this adapter. Okay in place as long as it's in it should be fine maybe i'll put a couple dabs of glue but uh yeah and there's gonna be guys giving me shit oh look at all your wrinkles and your ide cables okay well you know that's about the best i can do there so yeah so that's what's under the hood there guys i just wanted to show you okay let's put her all back together and let's just have a quick look at some of the uh emulation and the coin ops and uh, some of the movies and stuff and my setup here Okay, so we got our back hooked up in the gaming room here. Uh, we're going to turn it on. I'm going to turn the volume down because I'm going to show you guys some movies and music. I really don't want uh, to get a copyright. All right, guys, I'm setting this up kind of quick and dirty over here. I'm using my uh, wireless Logitech controller, which was one of the best controllers for the original Xbox, guys. If you don't have it, you definitely need one of these. Let's power her up. And right away, we're going to be greeted with a custom... Uh, BIOS right here, Executor 2. Okay. All right. Okay, you can see the, the Xbox is booting up like normal. Turn it down a little bit here. Look at this uh, skin. Look what happens when I turn my Xbox on every time. Now, you guys know the song to this. I'm not going to keep it going in the background. Might have it a little bit as I over talk it a bit. I'll See the display there? It says 720. So we're running Unleashed X right now. All right, and you can see some of the stuff that's on there. All right, so that's the uh, Unleashed X skin there. You can press Y and you can get a whole uh, layout. Now that flickering that you see on TV, that has nothing to do with what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is crystal clear. Okay, so you can, you can, you know, you can check out stuff over here. You can go into the game section here. Take a look and these are all the games there. Now these are full original Xbox games. So, okay, but if you want to get into the, to the bread and butter, we really need to get into XBMC. Now I can change this in order to make it load from XBMC. So when you press the power, boom, you're right into XBMC automatically. But I don't know, I kind of like the, the intro and having the turtle song singing with it and everything. It's just, it's really cool. So see how many games are on here. These are full original Xbox games, okay? So let's get up to the, to the top. No, let's go back to, 
we're gonna boot up now XBMC and let's see how I got this set up and I'll show you all the emulators and stuff guys all right so we got XBMC in 720p right now okay it will go up to as high as 1080 use the monster cables guys okay so we're just gonna go into programs this is my setup right now okay now it's not completely finished so I got some of the wide icons here the applications original Xbox games plugins console um, these are some standalone emulation homebrews okay and that's pretty much it we can go back out and see you know the music that I have on here and I'm not gonna be playing any of the music okay but you can see how much music is on here like there's there's not really much because I don't know I'd rather load it with you know games and stuff but so let's go down to uh, videos here and take a look at some of the videos and there's quite a bit of videos here guys like I'm seeing Bill Cosby boys in the hood breakfast at Tiffany the bucket list what else is over here crank you know you can see all the great movies here all the Ghostbusters and my cousin Vinny there's a there's a duplicate of that though okay you can see all the all the movies that are on here man like and I can like ram it that's not even not even close to what I really have so that's just a little preview of the movies here so now we're gonna go into programs we can go into let's go and take a look at some of the uh, the homebrews here now it's not exactly completely set up but you can see all the homebrews I got kicking here there's actually some really good ones so I'm just going to click through here. Dead Babies. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> uh, Doom. Duke Nukem. You know, like, these are all more like homebrews or like or like ports. You know, the Killer, the Killer Instinct, which I can't believe it runs Killer Instinct because that's a huge memory hog. And it's just, it runs a great, um, you know, let's take a look more at this list here. Pac-Man, Quake, you remember Quake, playing Quake on the computer through the Link system? Man, that was awesome. Look at this, Quest for Hussein. This is awesome, this homebrew game. Honestly, you go around and it's all Haddam Hussein. <laughs> you gotta kill all these people. Um, there's a couple cool ones over here. I'm gonna go down the list a little bit. Super Mario War, that's pretty cool. Um... Bomber Box 2. Uh, There's a little Xmas game where you're in a sled. Okay, then we got uh, Streets of Rage Remake, which is actually... They never really made a Streets of Rage Part 4, but this is like a fan-made uh, remake, which is actually really, really fun. It's really cool, actually. And there's a few Zelda remakes in here, too. Okay, and Zombie Crisis is pretty fun, too. So those are the homebrews. Um... We'll get into the standalone. So these are more like just standalone uh, games, just single games with single emulations, so like Mario Kart 64, um, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, Sonic the Hedgehog. So these are just like singles, uh, you know, just a couple stragglers. Mario 64, X Men vs. Street Fighter, Super Mario Kart. You know, so that's set up nice over there. Okay, Link to the Past. Okay. Uh, so in standalones, let's take a look at, um, we can take a look at some of the applications here. Okay, DVD to Xbox, X, X, uh, B Partitioner, and guys, modding a 2 terabyte, please make sure you use the F and G drive or else you're going to be doing days for no reason. People will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, use F and G partition, Okay. When you're doing over uh, a terabyte, you want to break it up, even even less, okay? So here's um, original Xbox games. That might take a second to load. Let's see if we could change, so we could change the views here too, to like way bigger, you know? That's a nice view here too, you know? So these are full original Xbox games, full discs. Like BMX XXX, that's a pretty cool game. All the Buffies, Call of Cthulhu. You know, and these are pretty much all ripped off my collection. There might be one or two that I found places. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. Grab by the ghoulies. You know, the guy game. Hot Wheels, Halo, I Ninja. You can see a nice collection. If anyone wants to play a good Xbox game original, Land of the Dead is actually really cool. You got Manhunt. Just a ton, a ton, a ton of original Xbox games. Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast, Otagi 1 and 2, great games. Uh, Ninja, Ga Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden Black. Just a bunch of good, good stuff. Simpsons games and yeah, this is all pretty much ripped from my physical disc. Okay, we can go back. And so we did applications, we did Xbox, uh, we did standalone, homebrew. So let's go into uh, emulators, the retro games here. So you can see that you got the Coin Op 6 Adult Edition. So that's all like pure like adult themed games where girls are taking their shirts off and stuff. Uh, you got Coin Op 7 Tiny. Okay, that will fit possibly on a stock stock drive final burn legends okay so that's all pretty much meme okay uh coin ops 8 hypervision 6 uh hypervision neo geo station gems and then over here we got the atari Lynx. we got turbo graphic um and turbo cd sega game gear sega master system and mine's loaded like i got complete complete rom sets attached with these two uh, then we got uh, Sega Genesis, Sega 32X, uh, Neo Geo Pocket uh, Color and Neo Geo Pocket, NES. Uh, this is all like Capcom fighters there. We got uh, Ninja Massive, okay. Uh, Sony PlayStation, uh, Surreal 64. Now, the thing about 64 and PlayStation, I'm going to be honest, Xbox, some games doesn't run them very well, but... Uh, like, for example, all, like, the AAA release titles from Nintendo, um, like, like Mario Kart and all, like, the, the Mario's, like, the good, the good games. Zelda will run on it, too, uh, 64, but there are some, some games with weird chips that it won't run it great, okay? It'll run it like it'll start lagging, but a majority of the games, it does run good, okay? PlayStation... Same kind of deal. There's a bunch of good games that will run on it, but there's also some games that, that won't. So it's kind of hit or miss. So what I've done was kind of made a list of, like this is, has a full list here, the, the Surreal 64. But um, the PlayStation 1, I, I only put games on there that I know will run really good. And then we got Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Classic, and Game Boy Advance. Full, full sets, okay? Atari 2600. 5200 and uh, 7800 okay and then we have like the Super Nintendo uh, emulator let's open up the Super Nintendo emulator okay you can see like this is like these are all the newest emulators um, you know really nice stuff you can go to select game here you got European Japan USA so going to US, USA games and you got your list there and it, and it runs like great uh, as great as good as original it's like having a normal Super Nintendo here so you can tell that this is a top-end emulator and this is only one of the skins there's tons of skins with this too you can hear the awesome music in the background and stuff too I really don't want to get a copyright in Flagman here so I'm just gonna turn it down a bit guys okay because I don't want to I don't want to get flagged on friggin' YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so like I said, these are all the, the Super Nintendo games here. And you can um go back and like like these emulators are friggin' great now. You can go to options, um, video options, like and it has like see the software filter. Super Eagle to me is the best. I don't know if I've changed it. Let's see. See, I just passed it, Super Eagle. But you can see, like, all the stuff, flicker filters, and just great, great, great um, built em emulators. Like, the emulators on the original Xbox, they run the ROMs excellent, excellent. Uh, you know. So there's my thing right there. Let's go back. You can even go into general options. 
controller options, sound options, music player options, you know. You can even change the skins. You can see like there's a Mario skin, a 1080 Mario skin, 720. Uh, the Zelda is actually quite nice too. There's a Zelda skin, you know, and this is only one of the emulators. So it's actually uh, really cool. So we're gonna back out of this. Okay, so we're hitting the 720 again. I haven't changed it. I like keeping it at 720. It can do 1080, but I like 720. I just rather prefer prefer I don't know why it looks better on my TV in 720 that's just the way I do it so let's take a look at one of the coin ops uh, actually we'll take a look at the hypervision so we'll go on a hypervision 6 which is one of their their newest releases here brand new emulation okay uh, you can see the videos in the background and the crisp animated like guys this is beautiful stuff here okay I can spend the whole day looking at every preview before I even open a game We've got asteroids like and you're talking thousands of games per hypervision so say this is hypervision 6 this is one of their latest releases right there's a hypervision 5 4 3 and they they all have thousands of games like there's a there's thousands of games just on this like we're still in the bees here like you can see some of the previews there like look at it look at the detail going into this we'll go to burger time so the amount of work that was put into this you know what xbox in 2017 is far from dead okay like this would rival some some emula em emulation of the you know the pi the retro pi the pi 3 even and you know another thing about the pi 2 is that you know you, you're using those cheap uh chinaman controllers you know, the, the original Xbox has a really good controller and built-in vibration too. You know, modded Xbox is definitely, and especially in 2017 with everything being perfected pretty much now, like this is, if you want an emulation machine, this is the way to go. Never mind. Plus it's a, you know, it's an original Xbox. So you got to keep in mind, I'd rather see that than some little square computer, right? So that's pretty cool. You got Contra. You know, you can see the beautiful games here, and they all output in HD. Like, I don't know what it's running at now. Probably 720, but I know you could turn it up on these. So, yeah. Let's go down to a game. We'll just let the wheel spin here. Let it keep spinning. What do we got over here? Look at that. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Like, I just want you guys to see how, how much work was done to this, you know? You even got the Nintendo 64 emulation, which wasn't really done up to the last few years on the original Xbox. You know, it, it, it was done, but it wasn't running good. But now it's running a lot better. You can see the tweaks that these guys have made over the years with the original Xbox, you know, running on the little... The little resources it does have, it still runs these games a lot better than, you know, some, you know, Pies or, you know, even, let's say, the SNES and the NES Mini. So, yeah, just want to show you guys this. So, let's back out of this guy. Let's take a look at uh, some more of the other stuff, and we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. Look, look, we got Color Instinct there, you know. The modded Xbox in 2017 is far from dead. The Xbox scene that I know of is alive. It's alive at OGXbox.com and, you know, millions of people around the world. This is the newest uh, stuff for the original Xbox, you know, and they kind of tuck it away on the internet. I was lucky enough to meet up with the right people that was able to share some information with me, you know. So, yeah, let's restart this. And uh, yeah, let's uh, back out and my two terabyte drive here and uh... Okay, so we're back into XBMC's main page here So basically after showing you Hypervision 6, Hypervision 5, 4, they're all pretty much the same Same with Coin Ops and, and all those other programs um, Basically, 
you know, the emulation on these machines now, like I was saying before, I hate to sound like a parrot repeating myself, the emulation is pretty much perfected on these original Xboxes now. As long as is you get a, you know, a, um, a modded Xbox from somebody who's actually giving you, you know, the newer emulators, uh, okay, and then and the newer types of emulators, they're, they're more compatible with the older games. See, a lot of people, you know, they'll buy an Xbox and they'll be all oh, modded Xbox, you know, that was 10 years ago. No. The programs that you're thinking of 10 years ago were very primitive, and a lot of them, some of them didn't work properly. Nowadays, 2017, 2018, these games, these emulators for these games, specific game consoles, are running these games excellent, beautiful, uh, original, just, just as original as, you know, the original systems that ran it. All right, let's try out an NES game on this emulation here. You can see how beautiful this was put together here, uh, the emulator running this, and, and this version was perfected and perfected and perfected over again, released. You know, you can see the previews. So this is this is the emulator that just runs the NES games, all right? So we're gonna go select game, and this ROM list is kind of messed up. It's not the best looking ROM list. Uh, I've, I've fixed it since, but. It is a full ROM list though, but I just, it has the Japan, the European, and, and the American uh, ROMs all in one, where I kind of spaced them into subfolders. I think it's a little bit better to have them organized like that. So let's just go into any game here. All right, let's try out Gremlins 2, the new batch, real quick, guys. Okay, like you can see, this is, this is HD right now, okay? So like, you can have like an AVS, or, you know, um, Retron 5, for example. It's going to output the same kind of quality here. All right, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the gameplay here. You guys all know what this is about. But just to show you, it's exactly, you know, and I haven't played this in a while. And I'm using the analog stick, which I shouldn't be doing. Yep, see, that's what happens when you use the analog stick. But now I got, you know, the balloon. And the flying tomatoes and bats. I haven't played this for a while, but you can see that, you know, the emulation's there. Okay, now that's not something to, you know, brag home about, you know, go, you know, go crazy over NES emulation. It's pretty much been perfected years and years ago, even on the older Xbox uh, original emulation. But I'm just giving a, an example right now is one look how terrible it's been since I played this. Oh my God. So let's get out of this. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna exit it, exit in the game over here, guys. So, yeah, I just want to give you a little bit of a preview of you know that. I just want to let you guys know that the original Xbox has so much to offer, and it's perfect for running these old retro games. Like it's it's unbelievable how much you can fit on here, and the price compared to buying the originals. Forget about it. Even you know, let's say it's around the price of an EverDrive. But in EverDrive, you're only getting one system. This you can get, I don't know, what, 23, 50, how, how many can you get? 23, 30 different, different systems, plus MAME, plus XBMC, and movies, and all this. Yeah, so that's it. That's my video on my uh, Canadian Crystal 2 terabyte uh, Executor 2.3 CL Mod Chip Xbox. Anyway, this is Retro Pro Frank, and I'm out. <laughs> If you guys like this video, go ahead and press the like button below, and uh, you guys can leave some comments uh, below in the comment section of the video. Please share this video on Facebook pages to your friends and family, as well as if you guys like this video, please subscribe. This is Retro Pro Frank. Thanks for watching.